Hi guys, hope you're all well. Um, welcome to Wednesday's ECA. Uh, it is looking at a little bit of football fitness, but again, if you're not a footballer, do not worry. It's going to help your overall fitness as well. And if you are a, a games player, an invasion games player, it's definitely going to help you guys as well. Um, how we're going to do it is five exercises, um, and we're going to do them three times. We're going to do it all the way through, 15 minutes, without stopping. Obviously, you'll get a break between each exercise, but we're going to go from one to the other. Um, in that second, so we'll do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. If you want to change that, if you want to increase it to 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, that's absolutely fine as well. Um, just adapt it within, within your exercise. Um, in that second 30 seconds, I'll explain what the next exercise will be. So we'll go through it all together, um, rather than stopping and starting. Um, Although you can see I've got a football and some cones here, a lot of you might not have that home, that's fine. All you need is four objects, I've obviously got cones, that are a metre apart, a metre squared, yeah? Just as you'll find out a bit later on what we'll do in there. But if you don't have cones, you can use either some socks, or some toilet rolls, or whatever you've got as four objects that are gonna show you the area. I've also got a football. If you don't have a football, don't, don't worry. If you've got something that rolls, whether it's a little tennis ball or a dog ball or something, or even toilet roll that will roll or something, that will be handy. And I've also got a mat for, for what form on the floor. Again, before any exercise, make sure you've got some water nearby and you're properly warmed up. Okay, so the five exercises are gonna be five different components. So the first one is always gonna be conditioning, getting a heart rate going up. Second one is gonna be strength and focusing on the upper body. Third one, strength for the lower body. Um, fourth one is gonna be looking at our core. And then the fifth one is a bit of ball mastery, but obviously if you don't have a ball, there is an alternative for you to try. Okay, so if you haven't warmed up, pause it now, there's a chance, get yourself warmed up and then we'll be good to go. So, if you can't see my face at any point, tight for a room here. First one, inside your square, if you don't have a ball, I need an object that is similar sort of height to this, so it could be I don't know, a little bin or a pile of pillows or something, just because we're going to start off with some toe taps to begin with, yeah? So, first 30 seconds, we'll begin once, well, once I've shown you toe taps. So, pretty simple, these are toe taps. Again, if you've not got a ball, get another object, and you're gonna move feet nice and quickly, we we'll do this for 30 seconds, and then we'll get our 30 second break. So, are we ready? Time is going, off we go. 30 seconds, working really, really hard. Get those arms pumping, knees nice and high. Set us 10 seconds. Again, if you haven't got the ball, just get those knees up, working hard. About 30 seconds. Try to be head up as well, challenge yourself. Focus something in the distance to focus on. Five more seconds. Two, one. Okay, 30 second breather. Whew, we move that to the side. Then we're gonna do some work on the, on the mat now. So, in 20 seconds, we're going to do some offset push-ups. So an easier version is going to be on your knees. We're going to start with that. We'll build up. Okay, so offset push-ups are your hands offset. So they're not like this, they would normally be. They're offset. Okay. 30 seconds. One. Two. Hands on knees, you can mix it up. One. Two. Change it round, which direction they are. Two. Bring your left one back, right one forwards. One, two. Ten more seconds. Make sure our back is always straight. Five seconds. It's working on our chest and our triceps. One, two. Good. Okay, 30 seconds rest. It's <sighs> not a good sign of time already. Um, number three, we're looking at the strength of the lower body now. So again, you can do it over your mat, you can do it inside your square, wherever you want. What we're going to do is just some lunges, okay? Get going in uh, 10 seconds. All you're going to do, step out. Don't let the knee touch the ground, and then back up. Step out. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. So again, just 30 seconds. Nice and easy. We 
will make each one slightly harder as we go through. 10 seconds to go. Five. Ah, there we go. 30 seconds rest. We're going to move on to the core. So, this is where you need something that's going to roll. So I've got the football here. Um, if you haven't got, like, maybe a tennis ball or something, that's fine. You're going to set your body out like a normal plank. Then what you're going to do is you're going to roll the ball from one side to the holding for that core position. Okay, five seconds and we'll start. Four, three, two, one. So keep that bum down, not too high, rolling that ball from one side to the other. Just over halfway. Consciously think about tightening that stomach, tighten those abs, keep everything controlled, nice and still. A few seconds. Come on. Okay. Right, then the last one. Last 30 seconds, gonna be a little bit of ball mastery. So what we're gonna do is have loads of little touches, and we're gonna go in and out of um, the cones, back and forwards, changing directions. If you haven't got a ball, you can just use your feet around the cones. Changing direction, going in and out, around the cones. If you have got a ball, you're gonna go around the cones, using loads of different parts of your foot. Oh, lost control there. Okay, three, two, one, go. Loads of little touches. Use the inside of your foot, back heels, in, around, around the corner there, right around there, mix it up, left foot, right foot, 10 more seconds to go. If you've not got a ball, get in and out of those cones, quick feet, quick as you can, work hard. And stop. Okay, 30 seconds rest and we're going to start all over again. Go back to conditioning. So first one, toe taps. Start in 10 minutes. So if you've not got a ball or not got the object, get those knees up as high as you can, like so. If you have got a ball, toe taps. Three, two, one, go. 30 seconds. So we're back to number one now, back to conditioning. We're going straight the way through. That's halfway. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, number two. Let's go back to the offset push ups. So we're going to make it even harder now, so it's just going to be our feet, not our knees. Start in 10 seconds. So do two at a time and then mix up where your hands are. And go. So normally our hands will be right in line with our chest, we'll be in line with each other. For this one, change it up. Work in different parts of our body. Two at a time and then mix it. If you are struggling to do your feet on the ground, that's fine, go back to your knees. Five seconds. There we go. 30 second breather. Should we get a nice little sweat on now? Right, then we're going to look at the lunge twists. So this time when you lunge down, you're going to twist at your core. Five seconds. Okay. Oh, sorry, I miscounted there. Ten seconds. Still got some breathing time, don't we? So this time you're going to go down, hold it, twist each way, and then back up. Okay, and go. Still alternating legs. Down you go, hold it there, twist, and back up. Ten 
Ten seconds to go. Five. And hold it there. Thirty second breather. Make sure you're getting water on board. Okay, now we look at the core. So we're going to do the plank roll again, back to number four. So you need that object that's going to roll for you. Ten seconds till we start. So keep that back, everything nice and straight. Three, two, one. Don't need to be a press up, just a simple roll of your object. You've got a basketball, tennis ball, whichever. Halfway through, try and keep that body as still as possible. Not only is it working your arms, but it's lower back, it's your obliques, it's your core as a whole. Two, one, down we go. 30 second rest, then we're going to move on to ball mastery again. There's loads of little touches. Ten seconds will start. So if you're not going to board, there's loads of little, loads of little steps. Change your direction, moving all over the place around your square. Two, one, go. Well, mastery, loads of little touches. Don't let it go away from you. Then backwards, forwards, left foot, right foot, inside, outside, big toe, little toe, big toe, round. Then you go backwards, forwards, outside of your foot, inside. Don't go back around the same one. Hold it there. Two sets done, one set to go. Have your 30 second rest. Then we go back into the toe taps in 10 seconds. Hope you're all as sweaty as I am right now. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Right, last time round. So you haven't got the ball, haven't got the object, get those knees as high as you can. Halfway through this one. If you're feeling calves, quads, keep your head up. Eyes looking forwards. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, then we're going to go back to offset push ups. So again, to get your hands in a position like that. So not straight down the middle, but offset. Five seconds. Looks right, Miss Cassie, yeah? Ten seconds. <laughs> okay. That's one of these. Go. Challenge yourselves. If you haven't done so far, get those knees off the ground. Two on each side, then mix it up. Left hand back or right forwards, as long as they're not in the same line as each other. Now, if I do this one, and done. Ooh, 30 seconds. Back into these lunges this time. When you lunge down, you can lift your arms. Oh, start again. When you go down, and then you're going to switch really quickly. Okay? So you want to test yourself. Okay? A little jump in between. If you want to go back to the normal ones, that's fine. You want to test yourself. Let's get a little jump. Three, two, one, go. Lunge down, and up. Halfway through. Whew. 
Okay. Uh, right, 30 seconds, I'm going to start to go down and do the plank roll again. Deep breaths. Five seconds, we'll start. Four, three, two, one. Halfway. Five seconds. Push that bones down. Okay. Okay. Ten seconds, we'll finish this ball mastery again. So we're going to lift the intensity even higher now. So if you can work it at 50 or 60, 70%, I want 90. 10 seconds we'll start. Three, two, one, go. Working it hard, push it now. Five seconds. Okay, hold it there. Whew. Right, well then, guys, hope you all are. Sweaty and as tired as I am. Um, that was really good. Make sure you're doing some sort of little cool down afterwards, whether it's another little stretch. Uh, if you've got a bit of space, whether it's back garden or, or a courtyard or something, and you have got a football, good way of cooling down now would be to see how many kick ups you can manage. Yeah, can, who can get to 25, who can get to 15, who can get to 100. Alright? Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again next week. Thanks.